100 Thieves, one of the fastest growing brands in all of esports, and for good reason. Matthew Nachot Haig, former Optic Gaming team captain and MLG X Games gold medalist, technically founded the organization on November 22nd, 2017, but few remember their first entry into the esports arena a year prior, and it didn't end well. Let's take a look back at 100 Thieves' forgotten Call of Duty debut. It is what Iron Thieves are doing. April 2016, CWL Stage 2 relegation on Black Ops 3. Team Calibre's squad of veterans were forced to bring in Embos as a last minute substitute with Gunjar unable to attend. <coughs> Unpracticed and unprepared, the door was opened for relative unknowns King Pappy to swoop into the CWL. Two points for King Pappy to solidify their spot. That's you see it. the break coming. King in. Pappy! They get it done, they take down TK! Nachot announced he was stepping away from competing shortly after Optic Gaming's 7th place finish at the 2015 World Championship. Eager to return to the Call of Duty scene, he acquired King Pappy's royalty, Johnny, Nelson and Examples as the first ever 100 Thieves esports team. Despite a victorious start against Team Solo mid, things quickly fell apart for the roster. They posted a 2-in-6 record by the end of Week 4, and Nachot moved Faith to veterans Aches and Remy to provide the solution. But the heartache continued. Defeats to H2K, Elevate, TSM, Cloud9 and Luminosity brought the loss streak up to 7. Redemption awaited though at CWL Anaheim, a chance to prove the doubters wrong on LAN. It didn't go to plan. In a truly remarkable display of incompetence, 100 Thieves failed to win a single map. Zero map wins, 12 map losses. <laughs> Nadeshot sought roster upheaval, but the CWL's rule mandating two members of the qualifying roster remain scuppered any possibility of change. As league matches resumed, the streak of losses continued to mount. 100 L's was born, the butt of every joke for weeks. FaZe Clan, Dream Team, Complexity, Rise Nation, Optic Gaming, Team Envy and H2K put the final nail in the coffin. 100 Thieves ended on a winning note, but the damage had long been done. Nadeshot admitted mistakes were made and pulled out of esports entirely. 100 Thieves November 2017 relaunch proved successful, a launch pad for re-entry into Call of Duty for Black Ops 4. Three years on from a shambolic debut, 100 Thieves triumphed in back-to-back -back championships at London and Anaheim, before almost completing a historic losers bracket run at the World Championship. The introduction of franchising cut short their involvement, but is another homecoming just around the corner.